lights. So now we're going to study lights and starting with the rendering we're going to kind of move down the list of lights within the scene of Maya. I'm going to cover the most complicated ones first and then go on to the ones least used. Okay, Starting with um, how to set up the preview. So let's get something in the scene that we can light that's kind of interesting. I'm just going to take this box for instance and we're going to use this box for just about everything. Uh, mesh smooth. Then I'm going to take and keep faces together, turn it off, extrude it once, make this thing and extrude it one more time. And then I'm just going to mesh smooth it. Do that one more time. There we go. Something interesting. Maybe one more time even. There we go. Good. And let's put maybe something on the top of that. There we go. Instead of this, I'm going to choose to have a box. And I'm going to take the faces off the top and the two sides. So it's going to be a backdrop like this. There we go. Now, the normals are reversed on this to show you that it's display polygons face normals. See how they're pointing out? I want to reverse those. Okay. I'm going to call this stage one and we're going to put this on a layer. Okay. Let's toggle it off visible. There's one more stage I want you to set up for and that is this. Okay. I want you to take an up the polygon planes of this to about right there and then we're going to add a lattice to it okay and the lattice I'm going to try to get a hold of it's going to be very hard to get a hold of the lattice so what I'm going to do is toggle off mesh go back to object mode and so I can only grab the lattice Again, huge, hard thing to get a hold of the lattice. Okay, take off polygon faces. Go back to object mode. Show polygons. There we go. We have no choice but to grab the lattice now. <laughs> All right. So show polygons again. And what I want to do is just take this and go like this. And then go up with it. Essentially making this nice smooth ramp. Okay, and I'm just tweaking this down a little bit so I have a little bit more play and a little bit more runway.
Okay. Once we're done, we can duplicate this part and get it off of the lattice. You have to turn it back onto this. Command D. Delete this one and put this one back into place. Let's get it above the grid so we don't have to have the grid showing as much. And then we'll move these two parts up. All right. So now that we've set the stage for things, uh, we can now concentrate on uh, working on lights. Okay. We'll call this stage two and we'll put it on layer two. Go to object mode, highlight it. All right, so this is what we have. We have this one, and then we have this one. Okay, this one I'm just going to move up to kind of match that setup. So now I should be able to toggle between of them pretty quickly. Okay, one last thing we want to do is set up some kind of wacky material for this thing. So, rendering and editors, hypershade. Let's set up a copper. Okay. So, I'm going to make a mixture of mental ray materials and regular materials. So, here's an MIA material. Got that by going here, just like the last lesson. And under Maya, I'm going to use a Lambert. This one, the MIA material you go into its properties we're going to use a preset of copper and replace it by 90 percent we're just going to use crater and I'm going to hook this one into bump on the Lambert and we're going to hook this one into color And then I'll just attach that to that jack. So that is Lambert 2. It should turn black. And I'm going to keep the sphere um, uh, just a regular normal blend just for educational. So we're going to take this blend. And maybe we'll add something to it. Maybe we'll add a little bit of color to it, like a blue. There we go. Bluish purple. And we'll add some bump to it, too. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll add some leather. Let's see how, how that looks. Change that over to bump. Let's turn that on high quality rendering. Good. So now I have this leather ball that has some spectral capabilities and I have this. And you notice this one will never render real time. I think that copper might be a little rough too. Let me see what happens here. Let's go into mental ray. Go into quality of uh, production. Close that out and hit render and see what this jack looks like. I'm just hitting escape real quick so I can turn on my backdrop. You know what? That's not too bad. I like it. It's got some edge to it. Definitely like the sphere.
All right. Now that we've set our scene and certainly play around with these, you know, I just created two kind of materials. You know, you can create any materials you want, really. But uh, the idea is to set the stage for a lesson in lighting. Okay, in the next video, we're going to do just that. And we're going to concentrate just on lighting now that we have our scene set up.